Welcome to the fifth lecture in abstract algebra. The topics that we'll explore in this lecture include inverses and integer powers of square matrices and an introduction to vectors as a special class of matrices. Okay, so we'll continue with matrices and uh, we'll start this lecture with inverses. If a is a square matrix, and there exists a square matrix B, of the same size, such that a times B is the same as B times A, which gives the identity matrix. Then the matrix A is said to be invertible. And the matrix B is called the inverse of the matrix A if no such matrix B exists then the matrix A is said to be singular. All right, so next we'll show that uh, if a matrix has an inverse, then that inverse is unique. So if B and C are inverses for the matrix square matrix A then necessarily B and C are the same matrix all right so proof. So uh, as B is an inverse, of the matrix A, we have that B times A is the identity matrix. And so if we multiply on the right by the matrix C, we have that the product BAC is equal to C. So uh, since C is an inverse of the matrix A, we have that the product of A and C is the identity. So B times the quantity AC is the same as B times the identity on the left and so we have that B equals C. All right so if an inverse exists then that inverse is unique and for a matrix to have an inverse it must be a square matrix. All right So because the inverse is unique, we have a special symbol for it, the inverse of the matrix, again the square matrix, is denoted a superscript negative 1. 
Uh, notice that a inverse is not equal to 1 over a. So this is uh, one of the differences between matrices and uh, real numbers or uh, pure numbers is that there is no uh, no notion of division when we are dealing with uh, matrices. Also notice that the inverse of the inverse of A is the matrix A since A inverse times A is the same as A times A inverse which is the identity. All right. So now a new theorem. If A and B are invertible matrices, of the same size, then the product of A and B is invertible and its inverse, the inverse of the product, is the product of the inverses in reverse order. Okay, so we'll prove this statement. So the product of AB multiplied on the right by B inverse A inverse. We can group the uh, two terms B and B inverse, which uh, again B inverse does exist as the matrix B is invertible and A inverse does exist as the matrix A is invertible. Uh, in addition, this product is defined since we have matrices all of the same size. So uh, this gives us uh, A times identity since B, B inverse is identity and so we simply have A, A inverse which is again uh, the identity matrix. So we multiplied on the uh, right by B inverse, A inverse, the product of B inverse, A inverse. So now we we'll multiply on the uh, left by B inverse, A inverse times AB. And again, we group the terms in the center and we have B inverse times the product of A and A, correction, A inverse and A, and then the matrix B. This uh, quantity in parentheses is the identity matrix, and so we simply have B inverse times B, which again is the identity matrix. And so we have that the quantity, which is the product of A and B, multiplied on the right by B inverse A inverse is the same as multiplying uh, this on the left by a B inverse A inverse, which is the identity. And so the product AB is invertible. And the inverse of the product is the product of inverses in reverse order. Okay. So let's look at an example and then make a general statement. We're going to show that the inverse of three square matrices of the same size is the uh, product of the inverses in reverse order. So we know that the product of A, B, and C with its inverse must be the identity matrix. 
So we began by multiplying on the left by uh, A inverse, and so we have A inverse A times B times C times the quantity of the inverse of the product ABC is A inverse. So on the uh, left-hand side and on the left portion, the first two terms, A inverse times A is simply identity. And so we have that the product of B and C with the inverse of the product ABC is A inverse. So now we multiply on the left by B inverse. And so we have B inverse times B times C times the quantity, which is the inverse of the product ABC is now B inverse times A inverse. Again, the first two terms uh, is the identity. And so we simply have the product of C with the quantity inverse of pr the product A, B, and C is B inverse A inverse. So finally, we multiply on uh, the left by C inverse. And so we have C inverse times C times the inverse of the product A, B, C is C inverse B inverse times A inverse. Again, C inverse times C is the identity, and so the inverse of the three factor uh, product A, B, C is the product of the inverses in reverse order. So using uh, this method and using the uh, theorem we just proved, we can demonstrate that the inverse of any product of square matrices, invertible square matrices, or I'll simply say invertible, all of which are the same size, is the product of the inverses in reverse order. Okay. So next we'll define uh, integer powers of uh, a square matrix. So if A is a square matrix, we define the non-negative integer powers of the matrix A as follows. A to the zeroth power is the identity matrix. And A to the nth power is a product of the matrix A with itself so that there are a total of n factors where, again, n is non-negative, so it is greater than or equal to 0. If the matrix A is invertible, then we define the negative integer powers of A to B 
a to the power of negative n is the inverse of a to the power of n, where n is a non-negative integer. So this is the product of the inverse of a with itself, so that there are a total of n factors. Okay, so we'll look at an example. So for example, a cubed times a to the power of negative two is the same as a to the power of three times a inverse to the power of two. And so this is a times a times a times a inverse times a inverse. Grouping these two terms, we now have a times a times a inverse. And grouping the last two terms, we have simply a. And this is the same as a to the power of 3 plus minus 2. So uh, it appears that in uh, multiplying uh, two powers of a given matrix that we can simply uh, add their uh, exponents. So let's look at a, at a variation of this uh, example. Let's now look at a to the power of negative 3 times a squared. This is the same as a inverse to the power of 3 times a squared, which gives us a inverse times a inverse times a inverse times a times a. So grouping these two terms, that is the identity. And so we have a inverse times a inverse times a. Grouping the last two terms, that is the identity. And so we have a to the power of negative 1, or a inverse. And so this is the same as a to the power of negative 3 plus 2. So uh, again, it appears that we can add the uh, exponents, and we will next prove this. So if the matrix A is invertible, and R and S are integers, then A to the power of R times A to the power of S is A to the power of R plus S and a to the power of r raised to the power of s is a to the power of the product of r and s. OK, so now we will prove this. And uh, to prove the first statement, we need to look at uh, several cases, uh, four, uh, two of which have subcases. So we'll start with. Uh, Proof of statement one and case one, that is, that both the uh, integers r and s are non negative. Then a to the power of r plus a to the power of s is a product of two, two further products. So we have the product a to the power of r is a product of a with itself so that there are r factors. And a to the power of s is a product of the matrix a with itself so that there are s factors. So this is a product of the matrix a with itself so that there are a total of r plus s factors. And so this is the matrix A to the power of R plus S.